What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top Platinums for 2023. I absolutely love trophy hunting. I've taken kind of a slower approach this past year just because life has been getting busy, but I do have a lot of trophies and a lot of Platinums this year. But this video, I'm not gonna be listing every Platinum that I earned this year, just my top picks of what I earned this year, just to make it a shorter video, but also not to bore you guys. So up first, we have Life is strange true colors when I purchased this game not only did it come with the ps4 version but also the ps5 version I decided to do a playthrough of the ps4 version first and this game just like the other life is strange games was phenomenal the story is amazing it has a nice twist at the end it's just an overall great game and I had a lot of fun with it it was kind of an easy platinum there is missables but you can just go back into chapter select and get them unlike previous life is strange games though if you do the chapter select if you do miss a trophy doing your first playthrough and you have to go chapter select route you have to finish the whole chapter in order to do it and hit save at the end to actually get that missable or whatever collectible you missed. Unlike the previous ones where once you get it in chapter select, as soon as it hits the next save point, you're able to back out. This game here, you had to do a whole playthrough of the episode, but it is easy to just go through and not miss any of them. And it is a lot of fun. It's a really great and creative games, just like all of the Life is Strange games are. Next up is one that was one that was challenging, but there is actually a little glitch or a little change to how to get the Platinum, and that is for Stranded Deep. This game here is a game that I took a long break, a couple years worth of break from, and then all of a sudden I seen that people were instantly popping the Platinum, and I was really excited to see how to do this, so it turns out you could just go online in this game, and if you get into a match, uh, with somebody that already has the Platinum and all the other trophies, it will instantly pop for you. So that is how I got the Platinum for this game. And the only reason I'm gonna ma I'm mentioning that is because the game is super fun regardless. You can instantly get the Platinum, but it made me want to play the game even more. There's some people that just got the Platinum and they were done with it. I took a long break just because I was struggling getting the trophies, and now that I got the Platinum, I can actually enjoy playing the game at my own pace, which is why I want to mention it in this video. Yes, it was an instant pop for the Platinum, but it was a lot of fun to start getting back into the game, and since I got the Platinum, I got the hard part out of the way, now I can play the game at my own pace and enjoy it. So I might even do a series on Stranded Deep. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know in the comments below. Next up, we have Spider-Man Remastered. This is one that also auto popped. Whenever I transferred my save files over, I didn't realize the trophies would auto pop. So I did get the platinum that way, but I did a full playthrough of the game once again. It was just phenomenal. I love the Spider-Man games and it was preparing me for Spider-Man 2, which was awesome. I had a lot of fun with it. I really wish that it didn't auto pop because it's not a hard game to get the platinum for. It, the first time I got it for the PS4 version, it only took me about two weeks to get the platinum. It probably, since life is busier now, probably would have taken me a little bit longer, but it would have been a lot of fun. But I transferred my files over just so I could start off with the suits that I had and everything that I had on the PS4 version. But I wasn't expecting for the trophies to also transfer over so I did auto pop that one as well but I wasn't expecting it but I did a full playthrough of the game and it's just a lot of fun I highly recommend all of the spider-man games next up is super destronaut dx2 this is basically a space invaders type game and it's a lot of fun. It's one of those cheap, under $5 games that everybody hates on, but this is one of the most fun ones that there are. There's a few of them. There is Super Destronauts DX, which is the first game. There is this one here, which is number two. And there's also Land Wars, which is more of a Call of Duty uh, aspect to it, where you're running around shooting the aliens instead of them coming down from the top of your screen. I love Space Invaders. I've always loved Space Invaders. That's one of my favorite retro games. So having a PS5 version of it, even though I got an easy platinum, it's still fun to go on and play the game and just have fun and kill time in between playing my main games or even making videos or everything else that I'm doing. Just a fun game just to relax and play. A Space Invaders game is definitely awesome. So it's an easy platinum to get, but it was a lot of fun. 
And the last one that I'm going to be mentioning today is the one that was the hardest to get this year, or the least the most time consuming one, and that was WWE 2K23. I believe this is the first Platinum since maybe 2K19, or even way earlier than that. I can't quite remember, but a lot of fun. The longest thing was having 100 wins in faction mode. I don't like faction mode, so getting that out of the way early was a lot of fun. And then I've just been playing the game on my own because I love playing universe mode and just diving into it and creating my own storylines, championships, rivalries, brands, everything in universe mode and that's usually what I play but recently I did realize that the only two things that I had left was career mode and the story uh, or single player universe mode so I did go and get the universe mode ones done and then I went and played the career mode and it was a lot of fun super easy the story was very interesting I loved it and then finally I did get the platinum for this game which I'm extremely happy for now that I have the platinum for the game, I can focus on universe mode and just having fun and playing universe mode. But getting the platinum for another WWE game was a lot of fun because they're kind of time consuming, but they're also epic. And I had a lot of fun this past year making different trophy related videos, how to get certain trophies for the games. You guys seem to love that content as well. So for the next WWE game, WWE 2K24, I'm definitely going to be going and going for the platinum, trying to get that early on and making a whole bunch of video game contents for you guys, trophy related videos and different things like that. But these were my top platinum trophies for 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.